Hey, welcome to the first video clip on measuration of plane shapes. In measuration of plane shapes, we are going to be studying how to obtain the perimeters and areas of different plane shapes ranging from the triangle, quadrilateral, and several others. Specifically, we'll be looking at how to obtain the perimeters and areas for triangles, parallelograms, rectangle, the square, the trapezium, the circle, the sector, and another composite plane shapes. Here are different plane shapes. But first, let's set out with the triangle. You're looking at the perimeter of a triangle. How, what do we mean by the perimeter of a triangle? The perimeter of any plane shape simply means the total boundary length. If I want to obtain the perimeter of the triangle we have on the screen or this particular slide, we simply mean the length of the side, let's say length of the side AB, AB, the length of that side, sorry by length I mean that, plus the length of the side AC and the length of the side BC, this total boundary length is what we mean by the perimeter of this triangle. So as I've just said, the perimeter of any shape at all, any plane shape, is simply the total boundary length of that shape or object. And specifically for this triangle, that will mean the length, total world, total of the length A plus B plus C, as we have there. There's nothing so special about the perimeter of a triangle. Just add up the length of the three sides. Let's take a typical example. We are giving a triangle, giving a triangle of sides eight centimeters, eleven centimeters, and nine centimeters. Find its perimeter. I remember when I was in nursery two. This simply means the side eight centimeters plus. 11 centimeters plus 9 centimeters and bound what the bound total boundary length or the perimeter will therefore mean 28 centimeters in this case next the area of a triangle the area of a triangle is popularly defined as half, as you can see here, of the base of the triangle and then the height of the triangle. But what question you ask yourself is, which of these sides will serve as the base? Or rather, what do we mean by the base of the triangle? Or what is the height of a triangle. Now I'll simply tell you here that the base of a triangle can be any of the three sides. That is the side AB, which has the length C, as you can see there. This can be the base. This can also serve as the base. And likewise, this can also serve as the base. But of course, you cannot take the three of them as the base at the same time. So we can only use one of them as the base at every point in time. Which one do we choose? As, as I've just said, any of the three sides of a triangle can serve as the base. But once we choose the base, what then is the height of the triangle? That is the big question. What is the height of that triangle? Let's take one of these sides as our base first. I take the side BC as my base. 
Now, since I've taken the side BC, you can find that the vertex A is left unused. The height of the triangle automatically becomes the perpendicular distance from that vertex A down to side BC that has been chosen as the base. That is, the perpendicular distance from A to BC will now serve as what? As the height of the triangle. What happens if I choose, let's say, AB as my base? Let's see what happens. This is when we choose BC as our base. The height becomes what the perpendicular distance from A to that base. Similarly, when we take AB as our base, of course, if we follow the same logic we have just used, it means the height of the triangle will then be perpendicular distance from AB to the vertex C. So this will now be what? Our height. This will now serve as the height. That's it. And of course, if we use AC as the base, you, you will agree with me that the height will now be this other length from B all the way to AC will now be the height. So far, the triangle we have been looking at is an acute angle triangle, one that does not have that all the angles are what less than 90 degrees. What about a triangle like this? Where it is possible for us to have an obtuse angle. Of course, you will agree this can be the height. Yes. But what if I took this as my base? If I take this side as my base, then of course this will be the height. But what if I take this side as my base? In that case, I have to use the perpendicular distance of this to the base. I'm projecting the perpendicular of this down. I will need to extend that side I have, I've chosen as my base. So if this is my base, then this will be the height. And that's all for this slide. We can see how to obtain or choose the base of our triangle and then get the corresponding height. In the next video clip, we will take practical examples to solve for areas of a triangle using the concept of what half base times height you will carefully pick a base and then pick the height so i'll see you in the next video clip